Hey Fisherman, Aqua Duelist here, and today I'm giving you guys an update to my Artifact Trap Tricks deck. Now, I finally was able to get, you know, all the stuff I ordered in from, um, what you call it, the new set, uh, Lightning Overdrive. Um, I think in the future, at some point, I do want to try out the Amazement uh, variant of it, but I really do like the uh, Artifact variant, and I think it's really freaking strong, especially going to this new format. Uh, threw in some new some uh, newer texts and such to basically just kind of help crush the new format that's coming. So we're going to go ahead and get into this, guys. Um, guys, make sure you harpoon that subscribe button. really helps out the channel because um, a lot of my views are actually from non-subscribers. So, yeah, it really would help out if y'all y'all did that. So let's jump into this. So starting off, play three copies of... Mermelio, which is probably like the best trap trick, you know, main deck wise. Uh, I'm not going to be going over the older trap tricks just because like they're just so old now. Uh, everyone should really know what they do. So I will be going over the newer cards. And we're also playing three copies of Trap Trick Mantis. Uh, now, with this, um, the new trap tricks linked to uh, Colaris actually makes this a bit better. And I'm just, it's, it's, it's really freaking good. So you want to essentially open with either one of these two here. Um, open one of those, you're like really golden right there. Uh, now I did cut down Diana to two. Uh, I was playing it at three in my last build. Uh, the reason why I cut it from two is honestly, uh, Calarius kind of, in a way, it kind of does what, sh what, um, Diana does with the special summon effect, um, or the effect of when she's special summoned, and you honestly don't want to see her going first, um, just, you know, on your first turn, essentially, uh, because you're not going to have a trap trick in the grave to, uh, you know, special summon, so yeah, that's why I cut her down to two, she's something you want to essentially see, like, turn two, essentially, um, and then I'm playing two copies of the new card, uh, trap trick, uh, Vesculo, so with this, um, she's basically an extender, you can send a trap, you control to the, uh, that's face down to the grave, or, you know, spell her trap, out to the grave, and you special summon her, and then, um, she has another effect where if you have basically no back row, you can banish her from the grave, and then set a, uh, hold card, so, uh, you can only use either, you know, one of the two effects per turn, which kind of sucks, um, That'd be really stupid, actually, if you could do both, because then you could essentially just special summon her, um, and then when she's in the grave, just banish her to bring back the uh, trap hole you sent to summon her. Like, that would be cool if you could, but you can't, which kind of sucks. Uh, then I'm playing one copy of um, Trap Trick Atrax. Uh, what you can call it, uh, the new Link to Calaris kind of makes this a bit better. Um, and like in tandem with uh, Mantis here, like there, there's a really cool combo you can do with it. Um, so yeah, it's like, like Mantis and um, Atrax. I feel are just bad. Uh, they're just better now, honestly. Not saying you know they were bad to begin with, but definitely some newer shenanigans you can do. It's pretty saucy. So, so that's it for the trap tricks. And I do play some other monsters, obviously, as I mentioned artifacts, you know, earlier. But before we get into artifacts. Playing three copies of Parallel XC just because, like, it's just a really good extender. Um, and literally, you know, Sarah, Link 1, so yeah, like, any any trap trick with, you know, this in hand, you're pretty much good uh, for, um, what you call it, uh, Sarah and Reflacia or uh, Col um, Colaris, or Colaria, sorry. And then... Playing three copies of Droll, uh, doing a little meta call here because I think uh, Droll is just a lot better than Ash, honestly. Um, I think the the top deck, like the main two big contenders going into this format, is uh, obviously going to be Drytrons, and you know you have Shadal invoked, um, and then I mean even though Dinos got hit, they're like you know really popular Rogue, and there's always like at least one person playing Dinos, so. Um, you know, like, they just kind of, they kind of lose to this, so, yeah. Um, and then I'm playing for the artifacts. I'm doing two scythe. Um, 
I always I, I just like playing two, even if we draw one, you know. If we draw one, there's still one in deck, and we have ways to, uh, have a way to pop the, uh, Scythe that I set, essentially, so, yeah, on my opponent's turn, so, still can lock him out of the extra deck, and then, I am main decking one copy of Lancia, I was thinking of main decking, um, three copies, but I decided just to go with a one for space, um, so, yeah, it's still, I think Lancia is still pretty strong, so, that's it for the... Monsters, now going to go into the traps. So starting off, I want to talk about the trap, uh, the trap hole lineup here. So I am playing three copies of Great Digger's Trap Hole, and even though the fact that uh, the new Link monster basically kind of resets it, so it doesn't really go to the grave after you use it, and you know, with uh, in tandem with you know, the, like, Mantis and uh, Atrax, if they're on the field, you know, this basically becomes another hand trap. Uh, that's, you know, anti-hand trap, basically. Um, the reason why I'm still playing the three is because I always, at least, I always want to keep one in deck for Reflacia. So, like, it's, that that's really why. Then I'm playing one copy of Floodgate. Um... I honestly think two. You you could get like if you really want to, you could play two, because I kind of was flopping around from one to two for or sorry, two or three for the longest time. Um, like I used to side. Uh, I pretty much would play two inside my third copy. And honestly, because of just the new uh, the new uh, link two, and you know the suit. Um, what you call it, the new extender of uh, Suculo kind of like can they can also they can essentially just help you know keep it on uh, on the field and such and yeah so I think I think one's pr honestly fine for now uh, then three of the best trap which is uh, Shade Brigade in here really good extender um, you know just absolutely just nutters with um, what you call it Sarah if you open it basically make uh this with a trap trick basically gives you uh sarah and a free rank four so yeah or um Kalaria if you wanted to because you know um elomaris is a thing um i'm still playing three copies of trap trick i kind of want to try out playing uh pod extravagance because i have them um i don't know i do i do like playing trap trick just because uh it gets around ash so yeah, that's that's like always nice, and I if I this way if I would get ashed if I played uh, extravagance, I don't lose um, cards from my extra deck. Uh, even though we play three Sarahs, you know I kind of want to keep, kind of don't want to lose you know the Sarahs. So yeah, and then I'm playing three copies of Artifact Sanctum, obviously to you know get that artifacts out on your opponent's turn. And this is where things are going to get a little crazy. So I'm actually playing three copies of Dimensional Bear. Uh, this is just me going straight on that medical. I th I think Drytrons and Shadal Invoked are going to be probably the best decks of this format coming up. Um, what you call it in like uh, July 1st is when the new balance goes into effect. So... I just think, like, this card's going to be, like, it, it's kind of underrated right now, and I think, you know, this could just be a really good against the meta. Um, so, yeah, that's why I'm playing this, and, you know, so essentially we have, you know, all these cards that just lock our opponents out of the extra deck, which is nice, and then, you know, this just also stops Drytrons, in a sense, because, you know, they can't Ritual Summon, so like, it's not too much else they can do. Their main thing is gone, so, yeah. And then I'm also playing three copies of Infinite Impermanence, basically giving me, uh, you know, like another hand trap there. So basically playing six hand traps. Uh, and then I am playing one spell, the double or nothing. Um, you know, it sucks when you draw into it, but you know we do have other plays we can do if we if we draw it, and you know it's just a win a win con. So yeah, really really good. Uh, Utopia double package or the utopia double and just the whole utopia package really really nice really good so so that's it for the main deck now we're going into the extra deck 
So starting off, gotta play three Sarahs. Like if 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 you don't have the third, you you could get away with two, but I think three is like you you, got, you if you can get three, you gotta play three. This thing is just too good and stupid not to play three of. Um, then I'm playing one co one copy of Trap Trick Calaris. Now this card's kind of kind of crazy. So with this. Um, Basically, the first time a trap hole, you, you know, like you use a trap hole, like once per turn, um, you get to just set it right back immediately. So it doesn't go to the graveyard. Um, and then, and during the uh, end phase, you can special summon a trap trick from your graveyard. So, or your, yeah, your end phase. So, the thing I was saying is if you get this, let's say you have like this, a. Uh, Mantis and a, uh, what you call it, um, Atrax on the field. So, the thing is, let's say, you know, you use, like, Floodgate. Um, okay. So, quick effect, you could, uh, or this resets the, um, what you call it, uh, Floodgate you use. So, Mantis, quick effect, you can return it to the hand. And then Atrax lets you use that from the hand that turn, basically as a hand trap. So you basically get to use uh, Floodgate twice that turn, and that's what's really freaking good. So like it's this this new card, absolutely awesome. Um, you could play two if you want, honestly. I think one's honestly good enough for right now. Um, and it, just with my experimentation, one I think I think one right now is, is just solid. Uh, but again, you can play two if you want. Wouldn't be a bad idea. It's your preference on that. Now, for the other links, I'm playing Pentastag, um, just for that, you know, piercing with Utopia Double or whatever, you know, big, other big stuff I have. And then I'm playing uh, Nightmare Phoenix and Nightmare Unicorn, just because, like, they're just two really good generic um, links. And that's it for the Link Monsters. Now, for the X Seeds, I'm playing one uh, Trap Trick Alamaris, and as I was mentioning earlier, like, you know, this, uh, how, like, uh, what you call it, uh, X Seed and uh, Shade Brigadine can essentially get you into Calaris, and this is why, because you can, you can go into this and then bring back the, the uh, Trap Trick you used to summon Sarah, and then you can link the Trap Trick and this into. Um, Calaris, so yeah, that's like how, that's why you play this essentially. You know, you could also use the artifact to bring, you know, steal some phone stuff that you know, you uh, used your trap holes on if you really want to. But yeah, um, <clears throat> then I'm playing one copy of Trap Trick for Flacia. Oh, that ulti looks so good. I, lo I, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, card's awesome. Uh, which you call floodgate or not floodgate? Um, Great Digger's trap hole basically makes this anti, you know, just say no to nib. I love it. No hand traps. It's really freaking nice. Uh, surprisingly, people will still like try and nib me when I make it, and I'm like, that's just so dumb. Uh, one copy of Abyss Dweller got that nice uh, second ulti that I pulled, so that's pretty cool. And. I'm playing the Utopia package, which is the Utopia, the double or nothing, and then Utopia Lightning. And honestly, like, I think you've got to play all three, honestly. Just because, like, if you draw into the double or nothing, or the, I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, double or nothing, um, essentially, the Utopia double isn't dead. Because you can make it and then just immediately go into, you know, this on it, if you really need to. And then you can essentially make this, um, you know, use a uh, double or nothing to swing for 5k. So that's like, it, it's just one of those things where if you draw the brick, um, you know, you still have things you can do with it. So it's not too bad. Um, and then, you know, Utopia itself is always nice uh, if you want to protect your uh, Sarahs and such. So um, then I'm also playing one Tornado Dragon. And I know you're probably like, what, what, whoa. Aqua Duelist. Why are you playing Tornado Dragon when you also have, uh, what you call it, um, Mantis when special summons, 
um, you know, to pop back row and such. And then there's like one other card, um, can't think of the top of my head, you know, that kind of deals with back row. Well, the thing is with this, let's say we draw our scythe. We can make this and then pop the scythe that we set on our opponent's turn, locking out the extra deck. That's why I play this. I know somebody, like, mentioned it in the original video, like, what's the point of this? You know, you have back row removal. Um, so that's why. And then, one copy of Baguska, because Baguska is good. Baguska is always going to be good. And that's it for the extra deck, so... Guys, hope y'all enjoyed this deck profile. Uh, absolutely love Trap Tricks. Honestly, this is like my secondary tournament deck. Like, I just love Trap Tricks that much. Um, <clears throat> and I still think the artifact variant here is just really strong. Uh, the amazement, uh, amazement variant looks pretty good. And honestly, I do want to try it out. Um, working on getting, getting that stuff in. Um, see what I like better, but overall, really freaking solid here. So, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment any comments y'all have. Go ahead and harpoon that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And, you know, harpoon that like button. Um, and link in the description down below to my Instagram if you guys want to see some cool stuff there. And I will see y'all in the next video.